Making your own salad dressing is so easy. You should really never have to buy one again after you watch what I'm about to do today. Um, but a lot of recipes call for a vinaigrette, right? But what if you don't have vinegar? You don't know what kind of vinegar to buy. But I bet you have a fridge full of citrus. Um, this now becomes a citronette instead of a vinaigrette. Still another fancy French word. I like to stay region specific. So let's say you have limes. I would make a more like Asian or Mexican style salad. Maybe you have lemons, everybody has lemons. And I would make a more Italian style salad. Or if you have oranges, maybe you make a more French style salad. So uh, first off, we're gonna just cut up this shallot right here. So you wanna leave the root end intact of the shallot and then cut off the top, all right? And then cut the shallot in half, keeping the root end intact. All right, peel off the skin, which is just kind of a little bit of a task, but don't worry, you could give that out to somebody else who's maybe helping you in the kitchen. Um, a small child who wants to help that maybe can't cut yet or something, who knows. Anyway, peel it off, and then you wanna kind of score the shallot, cutting about uh, three quarters of the way up to the root end, hopping your hand over, and then step two, cutting horizontally. And then step three, the more gratifying part is to literally just cut straight up and down. You have to go over it again a couple of times to where it's super, super fine, because let's face it, these are gonna be raw in your salad dressing. Okay, so now put the shallots into your little bowl here, and you don't need that much and then cut your citrus in half. I'm gonna use lemon today because I love Italian food so much. And I'm just kind of loosening up the juice a little bit by rubbing together the lemon. You can also do it on the surface too. And just cut it in half. And then I like to just cut my hands loosely it like it's a strainer, okay? And I use uh, my fingers to catch any seeds that come out. So squeeze the lemon here like that. And that usually catches the seeds which you don't want in your salad dressing. Okay, and let that soak for about 10 minutes. In this case, the shallot is kind of like raw fish and you're making ceviche, right? So you add citrus juice to ceviche to have it cook through. And that's what we're doing with the shallots to take the raw edge off. And after they've been sitting there for about 10 minutes, then you add in a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. It's usually like a one to three ratio of vinegar to olive oil. And then add a little bit of salt maybe a little bit more salt, and a little bit of pepper. Um, and then people usually want to taste the salad dressing by itself, but it's out of context. So what you do is you just pull out a green leaf or whatever the salad dressing is going to end up on and kind of dredge it through, mix it up a little bit, and taste the salad dressing in the context, right? You can't just taste it plain. There's, that wouldn't really make sense. I wouldn't want to eat salad dressing plain, or maybe I would because it's so good this time. I don't know. Mm. Oh my gosh, it's just salty, it's vinegary, a little bit spicy from the pepper, perfect to go over any greens. Wow your friends with this super easy citronette dressing that keeps for up to two weeks in the fridge. There's more where that came from at hashtag own show. It was incredible. I, I, I feel like I learned so much and it's been, you know, several weeks since the tour ended and I'm still probably like you, thinking about things I heard, reflecting on it. I'm like still sort of inhaling the fumes of all that positive energy and wisdom. It's incredible, life-changing. If you don't have a lot of time to shop for a gift for that special person in your life, we can help. Today, gift guru Sandra Magsamon will show us a few creative gifts when time is of the essence. 